Hey YouTube, so there's been some changes to my tank. Um, I've rearranged the driftwood down here and I cleaned it off because it was really getting overgrown and being a mess. The crypt is doing well, I'm letting it grow out. I think it is indeed wenty because some of these leaves are starting to grow and get wavy and dark. Plus if you look in the back here, that looks very much like wenty. Now I had to get rid of a little endler. He was a bully. And instead I got a honey gourami. I've wanted one of these for months. This is a fire honey gourami from the local fish store. And uh I'm thinking it might be a female. If anybody can tell the difference, I'll try to get a good shot of its fins for you. There you go, you can see. I don't know if it's a male or a female, so if anybody knows, you could comment and let me know. That'd be awesome. I think it might be a female. You should also take a look at this wisteria. It's growing out of control. Here, let's see if we can get a good shot of the garami again. There you go. So I think it's a female because it doesn't have that much color and uh, it's got kind of a rounded dorsal fin, but if anyone can confirm that for me. So the wisteria here is growing up to the top of my tank. It's growing around the cords down into my heater and my filter there. I'm just kind of letting it do its thing for now. I'll probably trim it in a little bit. but. It's really growing well. There's uh, this new shoot right here, right in front. That's only sprung up. It's grown about eight inches in the last two, three days. And uh, the one that's wrapping around the cords, that one grew in about a week from the gravel. So, And then I have a second plant back there in front of the filter. It's shooting up a new, a new shoot like that also. So... This is going to turn into the forest. I was hoping it really would. I wanted a wisteria forest in front of the intake to my filter. I'm going to use it kind of as a really easy uh, pre-filter that the shrimp will clean. It'll pick up, you know, really big things or food that drops down before it hits the filter. And then the shrimp will eat it. I'm, I'm trying to make it a very low-maintenance tank for being heavily stocked. I still do water changes once a week, so... I'm just going to sit back and you can watch the tank.
Alright, thanks for watching.